Throughout the Provincial Instructor Diploma program, you'll be asked to refer to a variety of different resources that you um, are going to use in your reflective work, in your presentations, and in the assignments that you are using. And quite often, you will um, see us pointing you to use specific resources um, or to add additional resources on your own. And when we ask you to use specific resources, whether it's these four E, uh, the four E's or Mayor's 12 principles here, we will then ask you to use something called APA formatting to point to where you got that resource from. What is APA formatting? The American Psychological Association is the source of the APA formatting and they provide a style guide which you can either find in the form of a manual which um, I have right here and you can see in this picture or you can also use some of their resources online which can provide a useful starting point. When we ask you to use APA formatting, or in some assignments, we will ask you to um, reference your sources in an APA formatted style. We are simply asking you to provide an attribution as to where you got that particular idea and resource. Simply, we're asking you who is responsible for the work? When was that work published? What's the title of that work? And where can you find that work? A reference entry following the same type of a format will have the author's last name, first initials. Take a closer look at this for the particular punctuation that needs to follow. A uh, closing period, the date in brackets with a period. Again, look at uh, more examples on, on this web page or in the APA style guide for specific details. And then the title of the work, what, what is it called, the first word of the title being capitalized, all other words lowercase unless they're proper nouns. Again, take a look at the details and then where this was found. So um, all references file this type of a format. You can look at a variety of different reference examples to see how the uh, these can be formatted. So if you're looking at a web page or a book or an article, a variety of different things, a YouTube video, there's different formats that you can use for that. So for example, if you were to take a look at a web page, uh, there's different formats that would be followed. Here's an example of what you can do. Just providing a list of references at the end of a document or at the end of your presentation isn't enough. You actually have to have a corresponding citation within your presentation or within your document that points to who the author is and the date. And then the reader of your document or the person viewing your presentation can then find the corresponding author in your reference list and then be able to take a look at the uh, location of where that reference is. So citations are generally the author, comma, date, within brackets, within the end of a sentence, or at times you might have an indication where you have the author's name, color, and in brackets the date. So there's a variety of different ways that in-text citation is handled. Uh, again, you can look at this website for greater details, but it generally follows this type of a format. So you've got two components. You've got the in-text citation or in-slide citation, and then the corresponding reference that needs to be included. Now, the important part is, is anytime you're pointing to an idea um, like Mayer's Principle, like the 4E, or another article that you have read, whenever you make reference to one of these ideas in your slide deck, your presentation, or in your document, you do need to cite and then reference that. If you don't cite and reference it, you're going to lose significant marks on your assignments. For example, in PIDP 3240, if you take a look at the rubrics within the course, you'll find that if you do not use APA formatting, it drops you down to the level two, and there is a significant drop in your grade. Why is this significant? And why isn't this the case in all other courses? Well, it, it depends on what the course outcomes are. For example, in PIDP 3240, several of the outcomes point to effective use of reflective practices, professional and appropriate communication. And whenever you're you know, engaged in reflective practices, professional communication, pointing to uh, specific resources, the APA referencing 
and citations, that whole APA formatting designation is going to be significantly important. So in summary, if you see a specific requirement in an assignment instruction like using the four E's in your presentation and referring to Mayer's 12 Principles of Multimedia, we have pointed to these resources uh, within the course modules and you simply need to go to the particular page that we've pointed to. There's the author's information, there's the title, the URL information is, is up above, you've got the date. This is all that you need for your reference. You need the proper formatting. Again, look at the resources we're pointing you to in the APA style guide and then you're going to be able to do the in-text citation or slide citation and the appropriate reference that we require you to use. Hopefully you find this uh, short tips video helpful as you continue to uh, work on uh, this course and many other courses in the PID program.